In this lecture, you will set up an OpenAI API key or token using which we can make API calls from within our program. To do that, launch your web browser, log in to your OpenAI account. Once you log in, go to the top right corner, click on your profile, click on View API Keys that will take you to the API Keys page. Click on Create New Secret Key button. Give it a name, say My Key. Click on Create Secret Key. That will generate a alphanumeric key for us. There we go. OpenAI has generated a key. This key, you have to keep it secret because when we make API calls, we'll be passing this key from within our code to the OpenAI. And looking at this key, OpenAI knows which account this key belongs to. It will authenticate you and you will be charged based on this key when you make an API call. So copy this and we're going to keep it a secret. Copy it to your text editor. And we are going to create an environment variable. You can download this instructions.txt by going to the resources of this lecture. It's super simple. On Windows, you just go to the search bar, start menu, search for edit the system environment variables. Click on environment variables, use the upper new button, create a new environment variable, give it a name called openAI, all caps, openAI underscore API underscore key. The value for it will be your key here. The entire key, paste it, copy and paste it under the value. So create an environment variable called openAI underscore API underscore key because we'll be using it in our program in the next lecture. Instead of hard coding the key, we'll be reading it from the environment variable and we'll be using it. Similarly on Mac, you can run an export command from your command line. So you find the dot bash RC or dot bash profile or dot zshrc in your home directory on your Mac or Linux depending on the operating system. Open it in a text editor and paste this line export the key name or the environment variable name open AI underscore API underscore key is equal to you replace this portion with your secret key whatever it is. Don't try to use my key because I'm going to delete it right away. So the way you delete it, you go back. If you want to delete your key or revoke it at some point, you just click on this revoke key, the bin. It asks for confirmation, say revoke key, and that key will be deleted and you no longer will be able to use it to make your API calls.